Now let us discuss about minimax algorithm in artificial intelligence. Minimax algorithm is a recursive or backtracking algorithm used in game theory. So minimax algorithm is nothing but it is a backtracking algorithm. So backtracking algorithm means it always uses recursion for its implementation. So mainly we use this algorithm in game theory for decision making. It is mainly used in two player games. So it is min max algorithm is mainly used in two player games like chess, tic tac toy, checkers etc. Here mainly we have two players. The first player is max player. The second player is min player. Max player is trying to maximize the score. So here we have two players. So we will have two nodes. So here each node will have an utility. Utility means value. So out of the available values, max player always selects the maximum value, maximum score. Likewise, min player is trying to minimize the score. So out of the two scores, out of the two values, min player is always trying to select the minimum value. It provides an optimal move. It means min-max algorithm. So min-max algorithm provides an optimal move for the player, assuming that opponent player is playing the optimal lead. So here min-max algorithm always produces the best move. So here the max player always makes the move by assuming that min player is playing optimally. Likewise, min player will make the move by assuming that max player is playing optimally. Min max algorithm performs the DFS algorithm on the game tree. So here uh, a game tree will be given. So for on the game tree we need to perform the DFS algorithm. Uh, now let us see about min max algorithm by taking an example. Now let us solve this problem by this algorithm. So this is the algorithm. Here we have totally four steps. Step one is generate the game tree. So here this is the game tree. In the examination a game tree may be given or if the question is asked on explain min max algorithm then you need to take one game tree and solve the problem. So game tree contains all the possible moves. Step 2 evaluate the terminal nodes. Well, we know that this uh, here we use a DFS algorithm. So DFS algorithm means we will start at root node and we have to traverse in one path till we get the deepest node. So let us start from A. This is the root node and traverse in this path till we get the deepest level. So that means here this here this is the deepest node. So this node is nothing but the terminal node. So here we, we have to traverse till we get the terminal node. Now we need to evaluate the terminal nodes. That means assign utility values to the terminal nodes. So for all the terminal nodes we need to assign a value. We can call that value as utility value. Here the outcome of the game is win. So win means positive value. So here 4, 2, 6, 7. So these are nothing but wins. Whereas lose means minus 1. So negative values. So here for H minus 1. For L minus 3. For M minus 5. So these are nothing but lose. Whereas for draw it is 0. So for terminal node N it is draw. Okay. Next let us see step 3. Back propagate utility value. So at each step we have to perform the back tracking. So here A is the root node. The root node will always be at max. Max player will always be at the root node. So this is level 0. So max player will be at level 0. Next min player will be at level 1. Next max player will be at level 2. Likewise we have to proceed. Okay. If the current player is max, then algorithm select maximum value from the children nodes. So let us solve this problem. Here 
here the current node is at what max player the max player is at the at this level so now max player will always choose the maximum node from the children nodes so out of minus and minus 1 and 4 which is the maximum value 4 is the maximum value 4 is the maximum value so that value will be back propagated to its parent node 4 here we are following the dfs algorithm so that means here this uh, this is over so here there are no other nodes to visit so we need to do the backtracking so d has one more child so we, we will travel in this path so now out of minus 1 and 4 so 4 is the maximum value so this value will be propagated okay next we have to traverse uh, we have to do the backtracking next we need to search in this path so likewise we will search path by path here out of 2 and 6 what is the maximum value 6 is the maximum value so 6 will be back propagated to its parent next out of minus 3 and minus 5 the maximum value is minus 3 so minus 3 will be back propagated to its parent out of 0 and 7 7 is the maximum value so 7 will be back propagated to its parent next we are at min so min player always chooses the minimum value from its children nodes out of 4 and 6 the minimum value is 4 so 4 will be back propagated next c has two children f and g out of minus 3 and 7 which is the minimum value minus 3 is the minimum value so minus 3 will be back propagated to its parent next we are at max so now the move will be made by max so max player always uses the maximum value so here max player always chooses the maximum value whereas min player always chooses the minimum value so out of 4 and minus 3 what is the maximum value 4 so that value will be propagated to its parent that is the root node okay so here this 4 is nothing but the optimal move so step 4 select the optimal value at the root of the tree the max player selects the optimum value so here even though 7 is the maximum value but according to this problem the optimum move is this is the optimum move optimum value so here the, the uh, 4 is nothing but the terminal node i value so this is nothing but optimum path okay so in this way we can solve any problem very very easily now let us see some properties some advantages of the minimax algorithm the first advantage is complete second advantage is optimal so complete means if the game tree has a solution then minmax algorithm always finds the solution it always produces the solution and the second one is optimal so optimal means when we have multiple solutions then min, minmax algorithm always produces the best solution optimum solution among the among the available solutions now let us see the time complexity the time complexity of the minmax algorithm is big o of b power m so here b means number of legal moves at each point number of legal moves so here if we have two moves okay so those moves are nothing but b value m means the maximum depth of the tree okay whereas the space complexity of the minimax algorithm is big o of b into m b into m now let us see the limitations of minimax algorithm uh, it is very very slow for complex games like chess so this is the drawback of this algorithm it is somewhat complex it is somewhat slower for the complex games in order to overcome this limitation we have to use the second algorithm called the alpha beta pruning in the next video we will discuss about alpha beta pruning alpha beta pruning is mainly useful to overcome the limitation of the minimax algorithm so this is about minimax algorithm please like the video subscribe to the channel as well as share the channel with your friends thanks for watching